Welcome everyone. This is Zon with Repro Products. Today's video uh, is on Revit and how to adjust the zigzag line on a stair. And this is a video that is a request by a user. When we work with Revit and stairs, it by default will put in this zigzag line. If you select the stair and go to the properties of the stair, you can see that it has scrolling down a cut mark type and it says single zigzag. If I click inside here, I can change it from single to double and it will change to the double. Now, the question really came from the user as to why is the zigzag line right there? Why can't I adjust it to be closer here or further over here? What that has to do with is the cut plane. If I go over to the view range of the particular view, under Extents and click Edit. This is the cut plane it's set at four feet. If I change this to two feet and hit OK, then it adjusts accordingly. Now, if you do this, the entire view's cut plane is set to two feet. So you might have an issue with, say, windows um, not getting, being visibly cut in the walls in the entire building. So if you want to be able to leave the default view range to four feet or whatever it is you want, and then manually or just adjust the cut plane position of the stairs, what you could do is use a plan region. So head over to the View tab of the ribbon, Create Panel, Expand Plan View, and click Plan Region. When you do this, it goes into Sketch Mode, and it asks you to draw the magenta lines that represent the boundaries of that uh, new plan region. <clears throat> Once you've drawn it, it has its own view range here. So if I click Edit and I change this to, say, 7 feet, then I finish the command, you'll see that the um, plan air region area here is defining that, and it changes the cut zigzag line to be in position. Now, if you don't want to see that plan region, just select it, right-click, and hide it in the view. And it will still allow you to have the plan of the stair have a zigzag line specified where you want it to be based upon its cut plane. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching.